Hey guys, this is Chris. And this is Colin from Creator. And we are back with the T-Fall category. Ready to announce the winners. Yeah, ready to go. This week is... Aiden and... And Hudson. So we got the brothers teaming up from Strathmore, Alberta. This is called Return to Port. Now Colin, I know this is something that you're really excited about. We wanted to talk about this so much. I know. I'm gonna fire it off to Colin. Let's do this. For sure. So this is, again, Return to Port. This is a great scene. This is awesome. this is a small-ish scene that really utilizes the space incredibly well and utilizes every inch of it to portray something. Like every inch or every stud is basically like on purpose. It's so great. So starting from this photo that Chris just changed to from left to right, basically we have a fisherman with his net. <laughs> Looks like he's leaving the port. Um, this is a very uh, port heavy scene. So there's two docks uh, and there's a building up uh, against them. Fisherman, we have this um, crate and chain or this barrel and chain uh, aspect there that probably lifts up like things out of the boats when they come to dock. There is a crocodile in there or an alligator. Uh, there is a gentleman who seems to have just picked up a chicken drumstick, <laughs> turkey which leg. is really nice, a turkey leg. In the background, you can't see it as well, it's out of focus, but there is a fish market. There are some fish hanging on the left there as well as there is a crab underneath that blue tarp. You can't see it in this photo, but in the next one you can. Mm, there mm -hmm. it is. And then we have the secondary port or the secondary dock that comes off. It's like the main dock where we have someone sitting there who also uh, appears to have a stall selling stuff. There is a castle that hits or comes and butts up against the port. There's a sidewalk. Uh, great detail on the castle with some uh, layering as well as some uh, depth to it. There's a night guardian. There is a rat <laughs> coming up across. Oh, so it's much. so good. The watercolor is great. The algae. There is a boat with uh, two guys who appear to. Someone, one of them has a hook hand, and they've stolen this the golden bullion or golden insignia from somewhere. And El Dorado. El Dorado, <laughs> yeah, there you go. And I love this little tree that kind of branches out, branches, the, the ground branches out from the build itself, or mm -hmm. from the building itself, and then this tree sprouted up on top of it. Honestly, I want this. I want this as a set. I want this in my house. I want to look at it in person. Like, oh, yeah. they're in Alberta, so yeah, we I mean, can invite them to build con. You're in Alberta, so you gotta come down. Do not destroy this. Do not. I'm telling you, don't destroy it. I need to see it in person. <laughs> Chris, what else do you think? What else did you like about it? I mean, overall, the the build is so cohesive. They, so there cohesive. are some elements in there, especially with the color. They used little pieces to tie it together. Um, now, the one other cool thing is the castle, the greebling, the dark red, and the light gray is a yeah. really nice touch. It separates it from just being another part of the port itself. Mm. So you have the castle or street with the water so it adds that level of dynamic and i like the fact that they did have a castle wall behind it because now you have another level to look at mm -hmm. so when i'm trying to perceive this in a physical manner where if it was on display you will have little points to look at but overall the castle wall behind it puts it together yeah so, it, it gives height it gives layers so you have yeah. water layer the lowest you have a pier layer and street layer and then you have castle layer it's so good for your eye it's so good just compositionally exactly. to be able to look at it exactly. super well done build super I mean, well done there's so many different techniques and layers that they did like even as simple as the water they used dark blue yeah. earth blue and then they pulled it up with trans uh, trans, trans, blue. Lighter, trans blue yeah so Depth. that's that's insane honestly you boys are killing it this one is well deserving of our T-Fall category, and this is why we chose it. You guys brought Dark Ages out of the light, out of the light, in, into, into the, the light, into the light, and congrats on winning to this week's challenge. Absolutely, as we always say, T-Fall is our biggest category and the hardest one for us to choose. So, not knocking any other the, any of the other builders. Please go back and watch our full review videos so you can see all the other builds, yes. especially within the T-Fall category. They are incredibly impressive, but. We had to give it to Aiden Hudson this week. Thank you so much for the submission, job, guys. guys. If you like what you see, be sure to like, 
subscribe and let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of their build. If you guys liked certain things, took some certain inspiration from them, this is a lot to unpack. But thank you guys for submitting this. We had tons of fun and of course Colin wants to see it in person. So don't forget BuildCon, August 28th to the 30th. New Drop Mall. it off. Yep. Okay, that's it. Yeah, we're, we're going, going to... A-Fall. Off to A-Fall. See you Bye guys. guys. Bye.